I'll start uh, with my program and uh, basically the Bachelor in Science uh, computing program is uh, focusing on uh, the basics of uh, programming and uh, uh, this means that uh, basically you'll start from uh, learning uh, from learning your first programming language which uh, in this case is python uh, and uh, getting the basis of uh, other parts of uh, it for example the uh, databases uh, some math which uh, will be useful for you in future and uh, uh, also web design and development uh, uh, then in the second uh, semester you'll um, uh, or like uh, further on you'll uh, go more in depth uh, in the like in studying uh, computing uh, by uh, uh, having courses like algorithms and data structures uh, system designs symbolic computation and uh, also going more in details with databases by studying relational and uh, no relational uh, and no sql databases also there are two pathways in the bachelor in science of computing and uh, they are the cybersecurity and the multimedia pathway personally i chose the multi uh, multimedia application uh, development uh, pathway uh, which uh, basically is represented by like uh, creating games and yeah game designing and i am not uh, sure uh, which courses they have in the second pathway but in the multimedia you will um, uh, have to work with uh, a game engine to create games and also some other uh, you'll also study some other apps and the uh, basic 3D modeling. Uh, also about games. So in the last uh, semester, there is the computing project, which is basically like your bachelor thesis, and uh, you can uh, propose which project or what you want to research, what you want to do. Uh, my uh, uh, research uh, is about uh, virtual reality and uh, is basically about creating a virtual reality application. So uh, I'll now share the screen with some snippets of like the application which uh, I created using the knowledge I acquired in uh, uh, Procology. And uh, yeah, so uh, the application is about trading martial arts and uh, in general like training Kendo. So, uh, as you can see, like uh, I applied uh, my uh, um, knowledge, which I acquired from 3D modeling to create the 3D dummy, also like the dojo itself. The, um, the, um, <clears throat> there is also like some so, like sword, uh, physical sword tracking uh, like uh, applied and uh, like there yeah, so uh, basically like, uh, also in this application there are like some uh, sequences which allow you to train uh, the movements of uh, selected martial arts. And uh, this all like uh, was uh, created like using the knowledge I acquired uh, during uh, my time at Prague College and uh, more. Uh, also the teachers at Prague College are uh, like friendly and they can uh, help you when you have uh, some issues or you're like uh, having some uh, blockers in uh, trying to in a uh, subject or something like this yeah and uh, yeah like as i said like they're friendly and they can help you when uh, it is needed uh, uh, also because the um a prog college uh, has a uh, like yeah so sorry <laughs> so basically like, this is uh, it for my part because i guess i'll take too long if i'll go longer and yeah thank you for listening and uh, now i'll pass word to you Jel uh yeah sorry <laughs> jelza yeah okay everyone hi um uh jelza I'm a, I'm a student in master's uh, 
program here in Prague uh, College, and I'm on my in my final semester working on my dissertation. Uh, Prague College uh, offers uh, different kind of uh, programs, like if you want to choose a regular program or an intensive program. I was enrolled in the intensive program, which has three semesters. The first and the second semester, each of them has three different classes. And the third semester is reserved for the final project, working on dissertation. Uh, in the first semester, we had three different classes. That the first one was uh, with computer networks and security. Uh, this uh, was basically uh, a more advanced uh, compu uh, computer network uh, terms, and we had uh, uh, the uh, we had the opportunity to learn more about switchers and and routers and uh, so forth, uh, mobile systems and communications. Uh, this class was more uh, related with physics. It had a lot of formulas and math too and the research methods for computing. Uh, and this, this class prepares you for the final project, where here you can learn how to structure a document, how to uh, write an article, uh, how to make a research for re reliable sources, uh, and so forth. And there is an additional class, which is not like mandatory, it's optional. It's called um, academic support, for those students who want uh, to like improve their writing skills or just to learn in general how to structure a report, uh, how to deal with references uh, and so forth. Uh, by the end uh, of this semester, uh, we didn't have like a real kind of exams, like a question and you have to answer and so forth. We had to do um, real life examples and then uh, provide a solution for that. So like by the end of the of, uh, semester, we are supposed to write technical reports and uh, provide a solution for a specific problem. Uh, the second semester also includes uh, three uh, classes. The first class was, was with rapid application development, uh, which it was a really good class where you have the ability to learn, uh, I would say a platform that is based on uh, rapid that is used in rapid application development. I used Mendix, which basically is a tool that most of the, the, the that has predefined functions, and most of the things are basically drag and drop. It's not a code based platform, but is a, a like diagram based uh, uh, platform. And the other class was with. Um, Ma uh, IT management, where here you can learn a lot of things about uh, the uh, the ISO standards, the governance in general. How how do you have to structure your IT in an organization and so forth. And the uh, the last class was with uh, data uh, databases and analyzers, which was a really good. Uh, class where you had uh, the opportunity to learn more about the software development life cycle for each phase, what it does and so forth. And also you had the ability to learn more about waterfall model, Scrum in general. And by the end, we had to create a database for a specific project. Uh, in general, there are small classes sizes, which is pretty good. I really loved it because it gives you the ability uh, to interact more with a professor in case you didn't understand something. You have the chance to ask again for it. Uh, and um, I guess that's it. Uh, whatever you need, uh, there is the student services that can help you. If you have a question with the professor, they answer you right away with as much, they provide you as much information as they can. So like, uh, uh, the colleagues are pretty friendly, so like whatever question you have, you can reach anyone and someone will provide you an answer. Yeah, so uh, I can also add that uh, uh, the digital campus is like, uh, like basically, like, no, first I'll go with the structure of the semester of in bachelor program. 
and basically they are uh, yeah uh, free courses uh, like each semester and uh, yeah uh, there are also like optional courses as uh, Jelza mentioned uh, for uh, and uh, these courses help you with uh, like improving your soft skills and uh, writing uh, academic papers uh, also uh, the like uh, with with the help of a digital campus we were able to study online and uh, like even though like for some people study like face to face in class uh, might be like more efficient uh, the online uh, like the digital campus and studying online in January at Park College was uh, uh, like was not like a bad experience and um, it uh, helped to keep the like yeah the same uh, level of uh, like study and uh, knowledge gathering <laughs> and also i would like uh, to add some uh, helpful information that can help like new uh, students who will be joining uh, pro college um the teachers like i had six different classes and for six classes i had five different professors so it basically for each class there is a different uh professor and uh, also when it comes to the resources uh pro college offers you uh like what whatever resources that you will need uh for me as a as i'm part of seaside university we all we are also enrolled we have access in their databases too. So like, it's very helpful because every time we have to do research and search for real, reliable sources, we use that uh, library. And uh, another thing is that my whole program was uh, switched to digital campus because of, of course, the well-known situation of virus. But for me, it didn't cause any problem. Uh, the classes were still, interesting it's not like there was a lot of a lot of change or something that i couldn't handle or it was boring for me it was like pretty nice the professor managed to uh, handle the classes pretty well even though it was online also i'll mention about the real project so uh, for example uh, the student can uh, work on an assignment for bachelor uh, program and the uh, yeah, for the assignment for a course and uh, later on like if uh, they want like they can uh, go further with this uh, with this assignment or basically as some students did for the computing project so they used the they yeah, have a bachelor of physics as a step uh, like a starting a stepping stone in their like uh, real like life project and uh, then they can continue it further after they graduate and uh, yeah so like there is no like limitations on the, like the projects which you, you do i guess we covered everything uh, uh we're looking forward uh, for you to join uh pro college and you will be more than welcome